Uganda says it's making great progress towards its goal of having an HIV-free population by 2030. HIV rates in Uganda have dropped by 1.3% in the last five years. Health officials have attributed this success to the prevention strategies. From identification through testing, linking to care, and then making sure that all those that have been linked to care are effectively treated uh, tested for viral load through monitoring the monitoring systems that we have and that they have suppressed their viral load. Uh, so it's, it's, it's going to be uh, something that we're going to, uh, to work on very aggressively. The survey shows Uganda has done well in bringing down infections in newborns. But it's still dealing with high incidences of the disease in adolescents. HIV campaigners are excited about the encouraging news but say more needs to be done. We're glad to see that the prevalence of HIV is now 6% in adults, uh, suggesting declines from previous studies. Eufia also found that the infection rate in children is very low, but we do still need to work together towards zero new infections in children. The results from the study also show that almost 60% of infected adults have minimal levels of the HIV virus in their bodies. This means they will live longer without complications from HIV. Previously, there were worries that the country was sleeping on the fight against HIV, but there is renewed hope now. The Minister of Health says it's working on more awareness campaigns on the dangers of the HIV virus, and with more commitment from the U.S. to continue funding HIV programs, there is hope that the HIV infection rates will even go lower. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, in Kampala.